This is a quick follow-up tutorial on a previous video I uploaded with regards to removing the uh, hood release cable um, on a E53 series BMW on this particular model. It's a 2006 X5. The hood release cable comes in three parts. The primary is from the cabin to the junction here, which is the secondary cable. And if you can see why mine broke is number one, the pins that secure it to the uh, body um, uh, snapped off, as well as this piece here. And that made it very, very loose, so no matter how much you pulled it, it there was no tension to pull this secondary uh, cable. And this seats in here, and as you can see, it slides back and forth. There, if I can show you. So once I replace the secondary cable, I simply have to just connect it here, snap the two uh, locking pieces on the uh, frame of the car, close this cover, and that'll fix it. To remove the latch, you simply use a uh, Torx number 30 bit, and I said I've already removed it, so we're just trying to facilitate the of this video once you remove the torch there's three of them there's one here that's been removed put it aside and this will dangle freely and you can see there you're gonna need to cut the cable since you're gonna replace it anyway the tertiary cable and it's gonna be cut right here and I've already done that once you cut it uh, you can cut the primary or the secondary one here as well just to re remove it since we're replacing it all but this is what the new one looks like. As you can see, once this is underneath the frame, it's really hard to get a screwdriver or a pair of pliers in there to release it. That's why I showed you how to do it uh, simply um, uh, exposing the splash shield on the driver's side, um, putting your hand through and just yanking on the cable. But this is how it seats. Put it here. You simply put it in here in a locking tab, slide it underneath catch it and there's actually a, a slit uh, a slight slot in here for it to come out of you see that they're both identical for the drivers and the passenger so it doesn't matter what side you put it on um, once uh, you preload it you need to preload it before you um, put it underneath and put a little tension on it and then you simply um, uh, once it's underneath the frame you uh, fasten it back and then this cable the, tier, the secondary cable is easy, you just thread it underneath and then just fo follow the course and then put it back here. But the tertiary cable, you're going to tuck it underneath the frame here, up right above the radiator. And it'll dangle over here and you preload it again before you install uh, the passenger side uh, latch. Okay, um, we won't take you through the painstaking mechanism of doing it all step by step. It's pretty self-explanatory. Most of you guys are able to do this is just getting the parts and getting exposure all right good luck